in grade 12 and this is lesson 2 in calculus and today we are discussing the gradient from first principles. So in calculus we find the word derivative and what the derivative is it is a function that gives the gradient of a tangent and the notation for the derivative is f prime. Don't stress too much about what this means right now. We are going to today discover the formula for the derivative. So this is a formula for the derivative. It says f prime of a function of x is equal to uh, a limit of h going towards 0. And we'll discover today what the limit means. And then in that limit, we have this rule, which is fx plus h minus fx over h. And this is just a formula for the gradient of the tangent at any point. So all that we are doing today is we're going from the gradient between two points and we're moving towards the gradient of a tangent. This video is just a theory lesson, no practical examples, just so you can understand the concept. Here I have drawn the parabola of fx. And I have two points on the parabola, a and b. And I want to find the gradient between these two points. At point a, we have the value of x and then the value of y in the coordinate would be that x value substituted into the function. Now we're not working with numbers today we're just working with variables. So the distance between the x value of a and the x value of b is h. So it's h units between these two points. Therefore, the x coordinate of b is x plus h, and then the y value would be fx plus h. So I substitute fx plus h into the function of the parabola. Now, if I want to find the gradient between these two points, I use the normal gradient formula. So it is the difference of y's over the difference of x's. So in my gradient formula, I have y's subtracted from each other over the values of x subtracted from each other. And I can simplify. So it's fx plus h minus fx. So that is the y value of b minus the y value of a over the x value of b minus the x value of a and you can see that the x's in the denominator can simplify to h. Now this formula represents the gradient between two points. We have not defined h. So I can actually make h a little smaller. Let's say I move point b closer to point A. That means the distance of H would become a little bit smaller. And you can see that the gradient of the line has changed. In that coordinate, X plus H because the distance of H. And then the Y value is FX plus H. So even when I move the point closer to A, standard formula has not changed. So this then is a function for a gradient. Remember a function is a rule that we can apply. So this is a rule that we can apply to find the gradient between two points at any two points. Now we can see when we have moved B closer to A, that the gap between the straight line and the parabola 
is actually a bit smaller. And if I move B even closer, you can see it almost forms a tangent to the parabola. And the distance of H becomes smaller and smaller. So if I move point B closer and closer towards point A, the distance between point A and B would become smaller and smaller. And that will help me to find the gradient of the tangent at this specific place, at point A. Now the way we write that, as you can see, I've made the distance of H smaller every time, trying to move point B closer to point A to find a more accurate gradient for a tangent. So I'm trying to form a tangent. And this is where we limit H. So I take H and I limit it towards zero. So what it means is, I take the length or the value of h and I'm trying to make that distance zero. And if I can make that distance zero or very close to zero, then I can find a gradient for a tangent at that point. And this is called the derivative from first principles. It's important to notice that the gradient of a tangent has a few names. The name we are going to use the most is called the derivative. And like we discussed before, it's a function of fx. So it's f prime of fx. Later on, you would learn a simpler way to find a derivative than what I just showed you. Also, what a gradient is, is a rate of change. And this is the gradient of a tangent at any point of x. So it's a formula at any point. So you can substitute an x value in, and that is called the rate of change. The gradient is also called the instantaneous rate of change. So that is when I want to find the derivative at a specific value of x. And what we did in the Example today is we found the derivative, meaning the gradient of the tangent, from first principles. So it's f prime x, and this is formula for derivative, making the distance between point A and B smaller and smaller, moving closer and closer to zero. And the reason why we need to put a limit on h and not make it zero because I cannot substitute zero into the so I can make the distance between point A and B really small, like 0 0.0000001. So I can make that distance really small, but I can never substitute 0 into this.